so we've seen two examples one was the age which is an estimate it's it's impractical to give the entire precise age when someone asks your age so the age is an estimate we've also seen the example where <clears throat> the maximum load mentioned in the lift is generally an estimate in fact it is an estimate the actual carrying capacity would be much higher and in these two situations the estimate serves the purpose now let's look at a few more examples for you to understand where we, we, we actually use estimates sometimes it is necessary sometimes we don't have the actual number available sometimes it just saves time so um, let's say you went for a match it's between india and australia and you're in this packed stadium right here which you see and the commentator announces welcome all of you to 49828 people it's a house full stadium all of you and so on and so on and you're very excited it's your first match in a stadium live and you had a great time and when you go back home and if a friend were to ask you how was the match you would say that it's for the first time in your life that you were with 49820 people now think about it isn't it okay for you to say 49000 or maybe even 50000 it does convey that you were with a lot of people so if you were to say I was with around 49,000 people or I was with around 50,000 people or there were around 50,000 people in the stadium, your friend would still understand that you were with a lot of people. So you see, it's 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 perfectly all right for, for you to say 49,000 or 50,000. These numbers are close to the actual 49,820. It would not be all right to say maybe 1 lakh obviously now in this situation uh, let's look at population now first of all this is a situation where it's very difficult to have the exact number it's constantly changing now let's say we were to reach at some point in time a very close estimate of the of, of, of the population and we know that India's population is 1.3 billion and even China's is around 1.4 billion now in this in, in this graph here that you see you you observe that in this box here one moment the numbers are estimates it says so this graph basically colors the countries with higher populations with a darker shade and countries with a lower population comparatively lower population with lighter shades of blue now this box here says the darker shade is for 1 billion plus now in this graph it's perfectly all right for me to mention a range of population and categorize them in bands so that we understand that the darker colored countries have a very very high population and the lighter ones have a lower one we've used, we've used estimates in this example and it's serving the purpose the point is that you need to understand that in certain situations, estimates, in fact, are better. Now, let's move on. In this example, you see the distance between Mumbai and Delhi is around 1384 kilometers. Let me highlight that for you. It's right here. It's 1384 kilometers. Now, let's understand that if, if you and your friend were planning a trip and he were to ask you that what's the distance? I think it's all right for you to say 1400 kilometers. You would say the distance is around 1400 kilometers. Now, it's not needed that you mention the distance to the exact number. Now, um, think about it. If you were to say it's around 1000 kilometers, then you would probably end up being at Jaipur. So, that's not a very good close number. If you were to say that the distance is around 2000 kilometers, then you would probably end up being somewhere out here in Jammu, going further. So you see that estimates also need to be quite close to the actual number and they depend on the situation. So here saying 1400 kilometers is a reasonable estimate. It's very easy to understand 1400 rather than 1384. So it's actually better to use an estimate. Now, if, if, if he were to ask you further, how much time would it take to reach in train? If let's say both of you are planning a train trip. Now, think about it. For example, if you have actually gone to Surat before, 
now let's let me circle surat for you now from mumbai to surat let's say you live in mumbai it has taken around 4 hours so he asks you his purpose is to get a rough idea a fair idea of the time he is not even trying to ask you the exact time into the minutes and the seconds so you think that okay it took me around 4 hours to reach to surat now let me estimate on the map this is a second four hours, a third four hours, a fourth four hours, and a fifth one. So you can see that this is around four, around four, around four, around four, and around four. So you would estimate that, okay, it would take around 20 hours to reach Delhi. And it serves the purpose. Your friend has got an estimate and you have conveyed it well. Now let's move on to our last example. An example where uh, if you would search on the internet the distance between the earth and the moon let me first show it to you where it is it's slightly small now all of you know that the moon revolves around the earth it orbits the earth on a path which we call the orbit now whenever you search for the distance online it generally says the distance between the earth and the moon in kilometers is around 384,400 kilometers. Now this number in fact is an average. An average is also one of the estimate. It's one of a kind of an estimate. Now think about it. On this orbit, the moon could be somewhere here. It could be somewhere here. It could be somewhere here, somewhere here. Now the purpose of knowing the distance is to get a rough idea. It, we need not explain this whatever I am explaining you when someone asks you. It's alright to say that the distance between the earth and the moon is around 3 lakh 84,400 kilometers. Now maybe the distance at this point would be 4 lakh kilometers and here probably would be 3 lakh 60,000 kilometers. But it's okay to say that this is an estimate. It serves the purpose in this situation. So till now we have seen in many situations you have used estimates they help save time sometimes the exact answer or the number may not be available like pop like population and sometimes uh, the number we it's not even needed an exact number may not be needed like the overloading limit or the maximum load of a lift or maybe even the distance when your friend asks you or the time when he asks you so let's take a quick recap we've seen age as an estimate we've seen the load or the weight as an estimate that serves the purpose. We've seen the count of people in a stadium or population as an estimate. We've also seen how we use estimates to convey distances and time. And lastly, again distances but slightly larger distances. So let's move forward and understand certain examples further where we use estimate in operations.